with diabetes, circulation is always poor. That's why we encourage people to exercise, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll, today we'll be doing a series of exercises to stimulate the 12 major meridians. These meridians, they are connected to the various organs and glands. For instance, this technique is for the lungs, for oxygenation. Mm -hmm. Oxygen, without it, the heart won't work. And without the heart working, then the kidneys and bladder and all the other organs, they do very poorly, okay? Mm -hmm. um, we try our very best to make these as simple as possible. Yeah. So anybody can follow, they're not strenuous, okay? Some, if you're not flexible, it might create a problem, but at the same time, they're very easy. So how so is this helpful to diabetics? diabetics? Okay, this particular technique is for the stomach, uh, mm -hmm. and the spleen. Very important. Okay? The, sp the spleen, they're partners. They help the digestive system and at the same time the spleen is what helps in insulin production. Okay. So this particular technique is, is very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see they are stimulating or sometimes sedating these electromagnetic flow of energy. So it's all about energy, mm -hmm. food energy, body's energy, and so forth. This one is for, can be for several organs here. Mm -hmm. This can be for the kidneys, mm -hmm. can be for the bladder in the back. Yes. Okay. It also can be for the heart and small intestines. Okay. Yes. As you know, the kidneys are most valuable, valuable to the for the renal system to excrete urine yes. also to manufacture hormones mm -hmm. like cortisone and different things so it's very important that we understand these exercises diabetics always have this thing of always needing to urinate is there some way that you know exercise could help yes that because concern? it helps to strengthen the bladder the mm -hmm. kidneys and also the skin Okay. okay, and the nervous system because as she was stretching forward a while ago, yeah. it helps, if I may, the nervous system, which also the bladder meridians run up, up the, the back, okay. up the spine, on both sides of the spine. Yeah. This one is for the triple heater the triple or the heater. heart constrictor, which work, they both work with the, again, circulatory system, system right. the endocrine system, okay? So they're not just playing around here. This, these are serious exercises. And if you notice, they're not in any strain. It's not, they're not strenuous things. Or at any age, it's easy At to any age, and you work according to your flexibility, okay? Just go as far as you can. Don't as, it. as far as you can, and you don't have to strain to do this. And this should be done three times a day, you say? This How can be done for diabetics three times a day, twice a day, or once a day. If it's once a day, you do enough to last so for the day. So it's as overdoing it? Um, in doing? Yeah. You can overdo anything that you apply yourself to, okay. you see? But here, moderation, as you know, is key. Mm -hmm. But again, you're not talking about rigorous exercises yes. like Taibo or Karate Do mm -hmm. or aerobics, all those types of exercises. So this is like stretching the right the and this this is very good for the kidneys. Okay? okay. And bladder. Okay. I see see. And for the stomach because she's actually pulling the pressure points, pressure points. for Yes, she's feet. pulling the toes back. And these two toes they are connected to the stomach. Really? As the big, the big toes toe. are connected to the spleen and the liver. Y you see, the you meridians guess. run that way. So these are very unique and useful exercises for diabetics. And Michelle and Chan, they've been at this thing now for a year. So they're quite um, fluent they with it. Yes. Mastered it. Yes. So the exercises look quite simple and I'm sure everybody will be able to do it whether diabetic or not. May I just say something? Sure. I'm just going to ask the audience, no matter what you do, Anytime you exercise, before you engage in any 
type of exercises. You must consult, consult your medical physician. Thanks for joining us for another exciting and informative show of Let's Talk Health. I'm your co-host, Oshima Gordon. I'm your co-host, Gloria Marsh. And our world-renowned naturopathic physician, Mr. Ted Emmanuel. And thanks for watching.